Hey guys, welcome to another SaaS landing page breakdown. In this case, I'll be covering uh, Slack, which is one of the suggestions that people left in the comments of the last uh, landing page teardown. And basically, the Slack used to be a horrible example uh, because what they had on their previous landing page it was like super vague. It was just, I mean, it wasn't even saying anything. Uh, basically, we just say this is the hub for your team and your work, whatever the fuck that is. Uh, Doesn't make any sense. And people were looking at this um, as a source of inspiration which that, that used to drive me insane because the you know this was only working because everyone already already uh, seeing this page already knew what slack did so they didn't have to to look at the rest of the page they just had to sign up and get their free account um, that's why it was working and then there were tons of tons of uh, SaaS companies copying this uh, copying this layout thinking this would work where it totally didn't because it was a horrible example now it's way better i still have a few uh, a few things that it should be improved because it would still make a huge difference so one thing that i really like is the headline because it says slack replaces in email inside your company because if someone uh, has a problem with email and they look at this they would just instantly relate to the headline so it's it's perfect that's exactly what the headline should do and they position positions themselves uh, perfectly in terms of uh, this is way better than email if you're sick of email this is what you need to do next uh, another really good thing about the uh, about this page is the video because the video explains perfectly what's the problem about uh, email, how hard it is to communicate with a with a large team and share files and share ideas and so on because nothing is really visible. You have to manually forward things and it's a pain in the ass. They explain that super super well. I don't think I have seen something that good. But the thing is, they only explain it in the video, and you can't, you're, you, if you want to understand that, you have to watch the video. And because they have a terrible a thumbnail, um, you know, most people are not going to watch it anyways. And the other thing is, they need to put everything that they mentioned in the video on the landing page as well, because some people will want to watch the video, and some people would like to read through the page, right? And they're not doing it; they're they're totally missing out. And another thing is, they have this super vague headline, uh, and instead, what they should do is just they sh should really explain the value of w what the video talks about. So, for example, uh, I would write, uh, here's how Slack can change how um, how your team communicates. Uh, and then I would say under one minute, because, you, you know, if the video is probably like... A, 50 seconds or something so that's that would be perfect and another huge missed opportunity here is one they're not talking about um, the integrations so they have a bunch of integrations and they they have a few ways to make uh, slack super useful so for example they might integrate with dropbox they might in integrate with google drive they might integrate with uh, office 365 or whatever it is so to make things easier and basically what that would do is the more use cases the visitor attached to uh, you know their product attaches to slack the more they'll see themselves using it and the more they'll see themselves using it to get the result that they want which is fixing email and improving uh, you know team communication so in their mind they would say okay I can use this in a million ways you'll basically for fix all my problems so this is exactly what I need right and that's what gets them excited to convert and they're basically not telling them that uh, and another uh, really really uh, important problem here is Nowadays, there are thousands and thousands of of, of, um, of clones, um, and they're not telling me why they are better. Because right now, basically, this is just the oldest product, not necessarily the the, the best, and they're not telling me why Slack is 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 best for me. What the, it seems like they are doing, it seems like they are trying to target more of the enterprise type of customer, uh, and if that's the case, they should really. Uh, talk more a little, a little bit more about that and a little bit more about uh, customization and stuff like that because that's what enterprise companies uh, want to see you know customization and support um, and yeah that's about it for the for this video and for this landing page teardown if you're interested in, in seeing how I can help you uh, you know get better conversions for your uh, landing page by explaining your product better and really showing the full value of what your product can provide because that's what makes people uh, you know convert once they see that you can go to cortezartesign slash apply and all this is is a link where you can book a free call with me after answering a couple of client questions. Um, 
and what we'll do in the call is just see if we might be a good fit. If we are a good fit, I'll go ahead and explain how I can help. Um, and if not, basically that's the what the call is for, is just to see if we uh, might be a, a good fit or not. So if you're interested in that, just go to cortez.design slash apply. And if you have any questions about that and um, that would like to ask me in advance, just DM me on LinkedIn or email me at pedro.cortez.design. That's uh, basically it. Hopefully you enjoy this uh, landing page breakdown and just let me know in the comments what do you think of uh, this breakdown, what do you think of the new um, out of the new, um, of Slack's new website and, and so on.